welcome um aries i want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back thank you happy birthdays to you aries that was born from the 6th of april until the 12th of april i want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back so here is we're going to be taking a look to see what is transpiring um in this year for you guys okay um so this is going to be wonderful and let's say thanks to the universe for bringing forward these messages for you guys and let's check in so you guys are really um having a wonderful year especially for the people from the six everybody as a matter of fact it's just different situations that is going to be affecting you guys so let me go in and uh, look at uh, the people who were born on the six. Now, the people who were born on the six, congratulations, you have the wheel of fortune. Okay, so this is good. This is a wonderful positive energy. The wheel of fortune is ending um, psychic situations and uh, and karmatic situations and this is going to be good but it's also bringing you luck so whenever it's upright it is a positive energy for the people who are born on the six it is bringing you a lot of luck and what we're seeing here is that uh, um if there was some unhealthy karmatic issue if you weren't feeling sick if there was some um health issue in the family i see that this um is going to be coming up where you're going to be finding out about some um, sickness in the family and I see uh, that um, this situation uh, could be resolved where um, you as look as, as if uh, you're hoping for consolation um, from your guides and angels in order to resolve um, whatever you are dealing with with a sickness from a family sickness so um, however this is transpiring this is something that you guys are dealing with karmatic is it a member is it that you are sick is it that you found out some sickness but i see you aries are praying because you do not want uh, to have to deal with the sickness and i see some of you aries are going to be trying to resolve um this situation by yourself clear this energy by healing yourself and healing whatever the sick is it is good for you aries to do a bloodline healing what this does it is to heal the issues and situation in family so that you can resolve whatever the issue that is coming up it is definitely a karmatic issue that is going to be affecting um your parents and it's going to affect family members but most of all it is going to affect you guys so you're dealing with some past karmas that is coming up okay so um the wheel of fortune is always one and zero or zero and one you have the number 13 that is happening for you guys and you have 75 and four you also have the energy of hope and that is uh, um, 7 66 and 32 now there is a lot of hope because um, you people who were born on the 6 and I'm going to leave a timestamp on the this for the people who were born on the 6 um, because there is going to be issues and situation that you have to deal with um, and it has to do with hope and getting over some karmatic sickness that is in your family that is affecting you or a family member that you're trying um, to make sure that you do not have this okay then we're moving on and we're looking at the people who were born on the seventh is a wonderful energy because I see a new start a new start with someone new the Lamita uh, Amita uh, this is the lovers and I see you could be having a new start with your child. Now, there could have been some issue and some situation that was transpiring between you and your child or you and your parents. And I see that um, um, you are trying to work on the situation with your child in order to balance out whatever the issue and the situation is in this year. Now, I see um, the love between you and your child is going to be healed, whatever that was transpiring. Um, I see the love is going to be ill whether it's between you and your child your partner or people around you I see you're trying to yield situations um, around you guys that is transpiring in order to bring back um, love so it could be emotional healing it could be this is a year where you're going to be trying to heal 
all emotional illness um, that you have been having all issues and situation that was plaguing you for a very long time I see you definitely are going to be trying to heal this issue and situation in order to resolve emotional um, problems that you have been carrying for many many years so for the people who are born under seven I think that this is um, a time to release your emotional problems and issue that you have been transpiring that you have been having you carry this emotional situation you need to learn to love again um, and it says if you love but only love people um, your children but it's good to love other people children because they then your children would get blessings sometimes people think that um, they have peed in the church it's not that you have peed in the church it's because you only love your self and your family so you don't give love to other people and this is the reason why it's happening okay so let's move forward and look at the people who were born on the eight um congratulations eight is a really significant um symbol and what i see is transpiring is that you are going to be moving forward this is a year where whatever is transpiring i see you having a dream car i see some real good opportunities is going to be coming in for you guys um i see positive movement some of you could be relocation relocating i see a tower moment is coming down however this is happening and transpiring there is a whole lot that is transpiring where we have uh, um, situation that is going to be transpired but this is a happy year for you guys it's a year of luck fortune so I see unexpected fortune some of you could be buying um, your um, you know a new house or um, moving forward relocating and receiving like unexpected luck that is going to be coming in for you but for some of you I see a towel moment now however this towel moment is coming up and however it is transpiring in your world I see an end is coming to a situation so be careful about accidents in this year because that could be transpiring however way it is transpiring there could be huge accidents uh, a dramatic thing that is going to be happening to some of you Aries that is born under eight but for the rest it is a very lucky year it is a year of yes whatever you were planning on doing you are planning on healing your financial stability buying new cars relocating traveling um, it is uh, um, I yes but the problem is that there is some destruction so there could be wars coming up so um, hold on to your fortune whatever is coming up for you guys but it is luck is on your side you are the one who has the energy of fortune but I see some disrupt disruption that is coming in all right so what I'm going to do I'm going to give a general energy so for the people who were born on the six until the eight and what I see for a lot of you is that some of you, the Wheel of Karma is going to be bringing you victory and success, which is um, a collaboration for the people who were born from the 6 until um, the 8. And I see in the middle, love is going to be, um, 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 whatever is to inspire, it's about healing karmatic issue. I see some of you, relationships could be ending, people who are born on the 6, people who are born on the 7. You need to learn to love other people, kids and other people. And I see um, some destruction situation that could be coming down in love. But I see the people who are born on the eight. I see you have hope that new love will come in. And it is keep the hope because it's going to be transpire. So I see some if you are sick, I see a new start is coming in. I see some of you. Are going to be luckily overcoming the situation i see some of you are hoping for a new baby and the universe is definitely going to be gifting you i see a new start but be careful because for you people between um um the six and the eight there could be some accidents that is transpiring okay so be aware of that um let's see um what else is coming up so I see some of you could be uh, um, going in the hospitals or some of you who work in the hospital. Some of you, your child could be sick and is in the hospital, obviously. Um, that is a situation where your child is sick and is going to go in the hospital. So uh, people who, um, 
uh, people between the six and eight I see a transition the end um, to a lover the end to a friend the end to a friendship I see an investigation is taking place about uh, um, a situation in the hospital and the theft of a child um, however it is transparent I see information is coming out about fortune fortune is going to be on your side so this is good all right so we're moving on and we are going to be looking at uh, the people who were born on the ninth. so I see you working ladies you and your partner or someone who helps you this could be a personal assistance you are having problem dealing with this person so you working lady whatever the issue and the situation is you are having problem dealing with people at the workplace and uh, your partner this is going to be a year where a lot is going on for you working ladies whatever is transpiring for the rest of you I see you and your partners are going to be going through some hardship if you have a partner or you and your kids but you're going to be coming out okay it's just this is a year of healing and transition um, but I see men and women some of you will have some hardship you're clearing up some karmatic situation but you are definitely definitely going to be coming out of this in a very very positive way so sometimes some years are hard for you and this depends on your birthday and I see it's really going to be affecting the young people between the ages of 30 and 40 um, this is um, who it's going to be um, those are the people who are going to be having um, this struggle um, with issues and situation um, it's going to be the people between the ages of 30 and 40 where the struggle is going to be coming up for the rest of you I see you have gone through this karmatic shift for you guys your number is um, eight. Oh, twice eight so I see money is going to be coming in I see a lot of you is going to be making a lot of money I see multiple opportunities is going to be coming up so you have twice eight and eleven so that is good whatever the issue and the situation is and whatever is transpiring I'm seeing that transition is coming up and it's going to be very very positive transition okay people who were born on the 10 I see you're having a lot of conversation I see you could be finding out who your enemies are in this year however this is transpire I see this is someone who live um, a certain distance away from you you're going to be understanding who this person is and that this person has been working against you for quite a, a very long time so for some of you this could be a friend and whoever this friend is this friend has been um, creating some issues without you even knowing um, there is a group of people that is planning and trying to work against you but you're going to be seeing them in this year okay so it's like a year that you're seeing secrets secrets are coming out and you're going to be finding out who these group of people is and what they have been doing and this is wonderful because I see that you guys your eyes are going to be open so for the people who were born on the tent I see that this is a year that is going to be opening your eyes in a very very wonderful and positive alignment of energies because now you're going to be aware and capable and see who your enemies are um, your number is going to be 18 1 which is good and 3 18 1 18 1 and 3 now what is the underlying energies is that you guys can use 10 wheel of fortune so I see fortune is going to be coming in if you are connected to a group then we see transition that is going to be coming up where some of you are going to be going in within you receive some um, information from a group you're going to be going within in order um, to resolve issues then for the traveler I see some of you could be traveling someone could be coming towards you or you could be traveling to someone relocation is coming up for you guys and I see the energy of the hermit um, is going to be showing some information the hermit is going to be um, showing up some information about a corporation institution and you're going to be seeing the lies and deceptiveness of a corporation institution okay this corporation institution could be a corporation institution overseas however this is plain and coming up for you guys all right so be aware of this as we look at the people who were born on the 11th 
you have the energy of the hermit in this year this is good because it's as if you're seeing and finding out something about some money you're seeing and finding out something about some money now however that is happening and transpiring in your world I see that this is going to be very good because you're seeing the truth about some money okay I see you're um, you're researching you're searching for some money you're watching your money you're trying to figure out how your money has been spent and what exactly is transpiring because you see and you're true and, and you're looking at this and you're understanding um, that there is some this is, um, situation that is going on with your money and I see that you're going to be really investigating what exactly where does your money go and how much does you make and where does your money go so this is going to be absolutely fabulous because what we're seeing here and what we're understanding is that some of you are going to be taking some time off in order to understand what is transpiring with your money and how is this working out for you guys so so um it is good it is um really good it is positive um you have nine six and three so twice nine so a cycle is going to be over um however it is going to be transparent i see a cycle is going to be over for you guys especially with money um the six could be money could be coming in for some of you um this is um um 13 uh transition um with the energy of a uh, with um transition is coming in um with the energy of uh, someone um that you're collaborating in so you could be collaborating with someone whoever this person is and whatever is going on i see a transition is coming up with a collaboration so you could have a lot of business partner or however this is transpiring i see definitely um whatever is happening i see a transition is coming up for you guys especially with your money i see that some of you are going to be investigating um some money however that is and um this is um 12 um you guys are working with number 13 so you have nine six three and 13 whatever is transpiring the energy of 13 is coming up for you guys so use that energy in um, this year then what we're seeing um, basically it is the energy of uh, um, 34 which is 7 so some of you are going to be on a good part and understanding a situation with a group of people because what is here and what we're seeing is that this group of people um, is in the angman you're thinking about this group of people because you realize what is here and what is transpiring so I see a lot of you are keeping sight on your money some of you could be traveling to work I see you keeping sight on what is going on around you I see transition and this transition is good for the people who are born on the 12 because unexpected surprises is going to be coming in this um, year this is absolutely wonderful this is positive this is good whatever the deceptiveness that was at play I see transition transition for a young man whoever this man is in your life is this your partner is this yourself is this your brother whoever this person is is also um someone um between the ages of uh, 30 and 45 whoever this person is i say so unexpected surprise so for the ladies out there it could be your son you haven't seen for a while or it could be an ex-partner an ex-lover that you haven't seen for a while but this person is going to be coming up or if it's you uh, men it can um, be you or some of you are going to be finding yourself in same-sex relationship and that sort of a thing in this year so um, unexpected surprises is coming in and that is um, definitely going to be good now I'm going to be looking at all four of you guys uh, in um, a collective to see what is transpired the most important thing before I do that for the people who are born under 12 your number is 13 which is dead then you have six then you have seven twice dirty 13 13 13 whatever the issue and the situation is I see a lot of 13 is coming up for you people especially that is born um, from um, six seven eight nine until 12 whatever is transpiring you guys are working with the energy of 13 now 13 is 
um, debt it is changes that is coming up so that is a general message for the people from 10 until 12 that there is a transition 9 until 12 there is a transition something is ending and a new beginning is coming up in your life in this year what I can also see I see people are discussing some money whatever is transpiring with the discussion of this money I see unexpected surprises with some money is going to be coming in um, for the people who are born on the 11th and the 12th. Now, for the people who are born on the 9th, people who are born on the 9th and the 10th, what we're seeing here is a collaboration of people that is discussing a situation. And I see some of you are really having problem with either someone that you're working with that is from overseas. I see some of you young people, um, you're going to be coming in hardship, um, you young working ladies, and pe these are young people between the age of 30 and 40, you're going to be coming in some hardship, okay? So whatever is transpiring, I see that some of you could be receiving some message of the end of your contract, or you're going to be realizing that people on the work floor has worked against you. Um, that um, create some um, issues and I see some of you are really really wondering um, you know what these people are all about and why have they done this so I see this is transpiring then I see some of you exactly um, and this is going to be affect uh, some of you that some unexpected money is going to be coming through and this is really going to be affecting the people who are born on the 11th um the 11th and 12th whatever is transpiring i see some of you are looking out watching your money um uh, especially you men are looking out and watching your money and creating a lot of wealth and i see your wishes and dreams is going to be granted and this is going to be good so however this is happening and transpiring in your worlds I see that money is going to be the center where some of you are going to be happily receiving some money. I see that some money was missing and whatever as transpiring, however this money was missing, I see you're going to be finding out a way. Unexpected surprises is going to be coming up. I see transition is going to be coming up for um, a man. This man, if you are married to a Pisces, I see on um, unexpected um, financial gains are going to be coming up for the spices and I see that this is um, very good Um, I see unexpected success is also going to be coming up for Pisces whoever this person is and however this person plays a role in your life whether it's your father and um, your brother um, a boss or whoever this person because this is a birthday reading and it has to do with people around you however and whatever is transpiring it's about luck that is coming up for this person that is going to be helping out the rest of you so your overall energy is that i see a transition if you have a son um or a daughter that is a pisces transfer uh, pisces cancer scorpion i do see an healing and a transition that is coming up uh, for this person because it's as if uh, i see that they're going to be seeing the deceptiveness that has to inspire so i see a transition is going to be coming up and this is wonderful and beautiful because whatever is transpiring to your child or your partner that is a pisces cancer a scorpion i see the truth is going to be revealed and they're going to be knowing what exactly has to inspire so this is beautiful and very very wonderful congratulations because you guys are going to be having a very very good year okay you guys are going to be having a very very good year i'm going to pull two cards and then you guys choose one of these cards okay card one okay card one friendship so um for a lot of you i see people are going to be helping you unexpectedly people are going to be helping you however this is happening and transpire i see unexpectedly um, you're going to be um, creating a lot of friends. People are going to be there for you. I see friends are going to be coming in if even you never had friends. I see these friends are going to be protecting you, coming in and helping to support you in whatever the endeavors is, okay? Some of you need to apologize. Whatever is to inspire, I see that you need to apologize. Some of you maybe have to apologize to a friend. So if you choose the energy of apology, 
I think that some of you need to apologize to a friend it could be coming to you but I think uh, you need to apologize to a friend however this is happening and transpire I see that there is someone that is coming in that an apology needs to be given all right so I love you guys and I want to say thank you thank you and namaste until next time